2001 Jeep Cherokee, cylinder one misfire, low compression, swap out the engine. Step one, pop the hood. Step two, remove the headlight bezels, followed by the grill and then the header panel. The header panel assembly is removed. I have taped the hardware to all the corresponding parts that I've removed. Next up, radiator support. Okay, with that out of the way, we can pull back on the radiator and pull out the mechanical fan shroud as well as the electronic fan. Now we can pull the battery. Next up, the air intake. Now let's come over here, pull the battery tray and the coolant overflow tank. Okay, now let's pull the radiator, starting off with draining the coolant. With the radiator out, we are ready to move on to the AC condenser. If your system is not empty, take it somewhere to have them safely remove the contents. From there, you will need an AC quick disconnect tool to remove these two fittings here. Then we're also going to remove where the hoses connect to the top of the compressor. Okay, next up, going to disconnect the power steering lines as well as the heater hoses and then any electrical connectors we can get to up top. Okay, now let's pull the intake manifold so that we can mount the engine puller. The intake and exhaust manifold are out. Had some difficulty with this flange here, so I went ahead and cut the tube. It will be welded back up later. Okay, we're done up top. Going from the bottom now, let's remove the front and rear drive shafts. Okay. Both drive shafts have been removed. Now we have a floor jack underneath the transfer case. Support it so that we can pull the cross member out. Okay, the cross member is out along with the transmission mount. Now let's remove the transfer case linkage by prying the rods out of the rubber grommets and also remove the transmission shifter. Okay, here we are going back in using an engine out of a 2000 Jeep Cherokee. No more check engine light. 